Another week, another scandal with the DWP. Now, this one was written by Welfare Weekly by um, Steve Priest. I hope I read that right. And the story is the DWP officials pocket £44 million in a performance bonus. This is despite the number of horror stories and tragedies that come from the DWP. Now, anyone at this point who is still defending anything the Department of Work and Pensions does to go after, to prosecute, to penalise, to sanction, to starve the people that rely on them, quite frankly, there's something wrong with you. And that does extend to Esther McVeigh. The fact that so many people have lost their lives because of the Department of Work and Pensions is already obscene. And then to have it defended by Esther McVeigh, a multi-millionaire who's living the high life, condemning everyone else for financial struggles, saying, well, you have to live within your means, despite the fact that she puts out so much repulsive policies to make sure people suffer. Reading this, the fact that officials are taking home 44 million just as a performance bonus that's on top of the wage that they're already taking home they're already being paid for making people's lives harder than they need to be for forcing people into work when they have not been medically cleared by forcing people to suicide to starvation forcing them out on the streets because they were five minutes late for a meeting. And yet, these people are taking home 44 million just as a bonus. Quite frankly, at this point, the Department of Work and Pensions needs to be pulled down and rebuilt because it just isn't working.